Good evening, everyone. Welcome to Dungeons and Dragons. Sort of. Not really a horror game, just some character creation. Because, hello, the spook. Uh, I've got a new campaign coming up. It's not my campaign. I am playing in it, not dungeon mastering it. <clears throat> Gurfex is. And I need a character. Uh, Kiddo needs a character. Uh, Dragon needs a character, but her free time has been suddenly and violently consumed by the real world. The bastard. So I'll be helping her at a different point. Possibly Thursday. We'll see. Uh, so for tonight, just me and the wee one. My little doppelganger. We're going to do some character creation. Uh, live. <coughs> Discuss. I'll talk about various things in the process. Do some explaining for people who are, aren't familiar with Dungeons and Dragons. I am by no means a master at the game. Don't, you know, get that impression. But I'm, I'm decent at it. <clears throat> and I seem to make some interesting characters in my life. So I will chit-chat about that kind of notions. And uh, a few people, I'm told, could use a basic 101 course on D&D as we go, so we'll do that too. Yes. How is everyone this evening? Are we doing good? You all can see my screen good? Wonderful. Ooh, it's up in a big telly. Uh, part of our moving budget when we moved to this new house uh, it was a, a fancy cable to plug my uh, actual television into the computer so I can use it as a third monitor when I want to stream something off the computer or now broadcast my own Twitch channel so I can see what everyone else sees easily and by splurge on it it was like you know $15 or something <laughs> I'm okay enjoying a turkey sandwich for dinner ooh turkey sandwich <clears throat> I love a turkey sandwich. Is that uh, leftovers from the diaper party? <laughs> Did they give you leftovers? I never recall them giving you any leftovers. Did they hoard them all? The greedy bastards. Okay. Well. <clears throat> Welcome to my... To some turkey. Ah, uh, well, that's still good. Uh, here you can see... D, D Beyond. I have splurged on a subscription and access to the books uh, on sale because I'm not a crazy person. Um, with a specially modified biker fax uh, screen where it clips off my fucking username. So you can't dox me. Not that most of the people watching don't know exactly where I live, but you know, you're gonna have good practices. <laughs> Okay. <clears throat> uh, yes. I already know what the kiddo wants to name her character. We're going to do her first. So we can get her taken care of and sent off to bed. She has a light to sniff her. I want to get her to fuck away from me before she gets me sick again. <laughs> Angry fist shake. Pollen is her name. We'll get you a new fancy photo later on. Although we're probably going to export this and print it out so it doesn't really matter too much. <clears throat> um, yes, we'll do manual hit points. Optional class features. Homebrew content just on principle. I don't think we'll need it though. I'm going to try to avoid anything too homebrew for this particular campaign. Uh, yeah, sure. Show level skill spells, use encumbrance. This is a rare game when we're going to actually use the encumbrance rules, which is, if you're not aware, your stuff actually has weight, and you can't just loot everything like a video game. Uh, yeah, character privacy, none. Oh my god, what? 
what I do. You're panicking me, Gartifex. Oh. <laughs> Alright, yes. Item weight and how much you can carry is one of those rules that are very often overlooked. Also, how many arrows did you actually bring? Uh, that's also very frequently overlooked because honestly sometimes it's a pain in the arse. Drink. Yes. Yeah, all right. <clears throat> oh, I set my water bottle down in some uh, incense ash. I get clean it up later. All right. Now I know roughly what my child wishes to do. We discussed it earlier because she got all excited. You may hear her a little bit. Oh, there we go. I'm like, where the fuck is Elf? <clears throat> now, quick overview for people who are new to D&D. &D. We'll start off with a race. There are not... Oh, there you go. That's the easiest way to do it, Spook. Yes, if you hear Tony giggle, it's likely my child. Um, races in Dungeons & Dragons are a myriad of... Uh, Upright walking races, not just humans. Uh, you got your your standard ones like uh, dwarf and elf. Everyone's familiar with those, at least roughly from like Lord of the Rings and such. Um, but there's a bunch of other ones, of course. My personal favorite are the heron gun, rabbit folk people. Uh, yeah, there's all sorts of fun ones. Always give it a, a good, give it a good look over. <clears throat> now, we're not gonna not rush through this one, but we can do this without too much philosophy attached to it, I suppose. So we can get the kiddo off to sleep and help. Uh, you wanted a ladder now. There we go. Yes. Choose that race. Aladrin elves are elves with a bit more fey slash fairy blood in them, as it describes it. <clears throat> Native to the fey wild, it's a secondary realm of existence where fairy folk reign supreme, and you are highly inspired by the seasons themselves. Never how to pronounce uh, the names. Eh, I, I kind of guess on a lot of the names. Probably what Dungeons and Dragons is that a lot of the things aren't ever spoken. They're all written down. Uh, so like with any book, people read them in different ways. Imagine details space. Oh, that gives you a rough overview. We've been there. Okay, so we will get Dark Vision. Accustomed to Twilight Forests. Oops, I misclicked. And night sky, you have superior vision in dark and dim conditions. You can see in dim light within 60 feet of you as if it were bright light, and in darkness as if it were dim light. You can't discern color in darkness, only shades of gray. Well, that's good. That's always a little handy. Keen senses. You have proficiency in the perception skill. You're always a little more perceptive than those uh, beside you. I pronounce these guys Eladrin. Yeah, see, everyone has a different take. You, you know, you always have to accept that people are probably going to pronounce some of these fantasy words different than you. <clears throat> uh, Fey Ancestor, you have an advantage on saving throws against being charmed, and magic can't put you to sleep. Nice. No magical nap naps for you. Elves don't need to sleep, instead, they meditate deeply. Remaining semi-conscious for four hours a day. The common word for such meditation is trance. While meditating, you can dream after a fashion. Such dreams are actually mental exercises that have become reflexive through years of practice. After resting this way, you gain the same benefit that a human does from eight hours of sleep. Good to know. Ability score increase. Your charisma score increases by one. I believe you get the base 
elven boost as well. Uh, phase step. As a bonus action, you can magically teleport up to 30 feet in an unoccupied space you can see. Once you use this trait, you can't do so again until you finish a short or long rest. And she wanted to be spring. <clears throat> Yes, that's actually quite true. Matt should be quite the opposite of you. Our kiddo wants to be a spring eladrin. When you use your phase step, you can touch one willing creature within five feet of you. That creature then teleports instead of you, appearing in an unoccupied space of your choice that you can see within 30 feet. <laughs> Oof, fuck off. <laughs> no! Yeah, those are all quite handy. <clears throat> now we know she wants to be a druid. You won't get your druid circle in the second level, but that's okay. Two proficiencies, my child. You can choose from animal handling, arcana, insight, medicine, nature, religion, and survival. That sounds good to you. I feel like maybe medicine would be useful. Medicine definitely would be useful. You take you take care of a lot of uh, woodland animals. Froggies. Froggies, treating the froggies. Yeah. Froggies they got are a, best froggies. They got another smaller froggy in their trout. Touche, sir. Oh, I got that look. With the look that. Many men get when they say something silly to their women folk. Thankfully, I'm immune to it. <laughs> All right, you get one more skill, my child. Aww. Animal handling, arcana, insight, nature, religion, or survival. <clears throat> Animal handling. You're good at talking to the woodland, woodland froggies. Folks. Should be. The secret language of the druids shall know how to speak. Eee. She'll gain spellcaster abilities. She'll be able to pick those out in a bit. Eee. Get that your cool. max hit points at level one. That's good. Choose a generation method. We're going to roll the bones. The All right, child, bring your mystical dice to me. Okay. Well, not to me. You roll them yourself. Okay. All right, go on. Alright, we got, we're doing your typical roll four, drop the lowest, five, 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 fifteen, that's not so bad, it's a good start. I'm gonna write these down like a responsible boy. Purple dice are best dice. Mm-hmm. One more. Four, four, two, three, so four, four, three, eight, nine, ten, eleven. That's a reasonable score. In D and D, human average is roughly ten. That's two. So four, four, five. That's nine, ten, thirteen. I count slow. I know. That's okay. <laughs> she's not as young as she sounds. No, she's twelve. Uh, but but her and her mom both sound quite young. Five, four, three, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. That's unreasonable. All right, two more. Oh, <laughs> five, 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 six. That's sixteen. Nice. Five, ten, fifteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one. We dropped the lowest. Oh. <laughs> you can't start off with a score of twenty-one. You're capped at twenty like everyone else. I know, I'm a buzzkill. What can I tell you? No, the DM is. <laughs> Be nice to your mother. Okay, sorry, Mom. <laughs> what was that? A one. Oh. oh uh, DM Mommy said that we can reroll ones before we drop the lowest one. Four. Alright, two's out the lowest. So, six, four, five. That's 15. Nice. You're not a bad druid. <laughs> Did I roll One, again? Two, three, no. no, that's six. I can't count. It's fine. Take those. Eh. 
<laughs> okay. <clears throat> now. Do, 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 do. Ability score charisma for a legend. Now, we're going to want to put your 16 quite readily into wisdom. It's the... Uh, she got some good numbers. 15, 11, 13, 12, 16, 15. It's not bad, kid. 16's higher than my wisdom. <clears throat> well, yeah, you're 12. <laughs> That's fair. 16 should be higher than your wisdom. So, wisdom's your big main stat as a druid. It's how, rough, basically how effective of a druid are you. So we're going to want to put your big one in that. And let's see, you got two 15s. So what other things do you think you'll be very good at? Hmm. Would charisma be useful? They're all useful in their own way. Charisma is your ability to be friendly, be pretty, to be charming, to, to interact with people, to influence people and animals. <clears throat> for one of my 15s. Okay. And that's going to actually go up to a 16 later because you get a plus one for being in a lantern. Yes. <laughs> Wisdom dumb status way to go. <laughs> Spook, that's because Wisdom is your dumb stat. <laughs> All right. You got one more 15 to drop somewhere. Uh, strength is going to be how much you can carry and how hard you can hit with big heavy type weapons. Dexterity is your ability to move gracefully, to, to you know, hit things in a precise targeted manner. Yes, we do have optional variants on. Uh, dexterity is your ability to move carefully, to be sneaky, to... Uh, do things in with precision. I think would that be useful for like uh, going walking in the forest and the swamps and stuff? It absolutely would be. Yeah, yeah. Fifteen in dexterity, please. Okay. You get a plus two from being an elf. Okay, we're gonna mark these off so I don't lose track, because numbers go crazy in my brain. Constitution is also good. High con is never bad. You're absolutely right. <clears throat> Intelligence is exactly what it sounds like. It's your ability to process raw data like a computer. Uh, and your constitution is how hard you are, how tough are you on the inside. How resistant are you to getting sick? How resistant are you to poison? Not very. <laughs> <laughs> How about your druid, though? Probably. Probably? Yeah. Lived a, I assume in her backstory she lived in the swamps a lot. That's true. And her name is Pond. She has a seasonal allergy. That's true. So we don't want her to be too high. Or maybe you often have a little bit of a sniffle. Twelve? So we'll Twelve? do... How about a thirteen? Because uh. it's not as insanely high as have it put in your fifteen in decks. But you should still be able to shrug off the worst of things. I think intelligence is is twelve, and okay. strength is eleven. Strength is eleven. She can only hold so many frogs at a time. She can only hug so many frogs at a time. Hold. Same thing. <laughs> I like it. It's your constant gripe. I can't hold and hug enough frogs at once. Oop. Curse these weak arms of mine. She is very skinny. Yes. All right. Go have a sit and, and relax. <laughs> That's why I try to lift more frogs. <laughs> bench pressing frogs as she goes to the swamps. Okay. The heaviest she's ever lifted <laughs> is a toad. <laughs> Love it. That's why I try to lift more frogs. Frog curls. Exactly. What's the point of working out if you can't lift more frogs and hug them? <laughs> also mushrooms. Okay. 
So strength is 11, it stays an 11, you don't get any modifiers. Dexterity is a, a 17, we'll put 15 in, you get a plus 2 racial bonus. Why is it a plus 3? Oh, your overall is a plus 3, that's right. I got confused. I was reading too fast. Uh, Constitution's a 13. <coughs> a 13? Sorry, I had a cough in the middle of that. Uh, intelligence is 12, no bonus. Boonuses? Boosts or bonuses? Talking too quick. I like the word bonuses. Bonuses are good. Base score is 16. Did you not get a racial bonus? Huh? Oh no, I, no you didn't. You're right. Yeah. I, I, <clears throat> I'm losing my mind. I do. I read faster than my brain can comprehend what the fuck I wrote. <laughs> and you get a plus one racial bonus to your charisma. A bonus to your charisma, as they say. And you got your plus two base arrogant bonus to your dexterity. Okay. Perfect. Just as it ought to be. <clears throat> Alright. A background. Mm. No. Yeah, that is a thing. It is a thing. We're going to look at what might have been your background in life. And we can look at them over here in the player's handbook. Where is... Background through. Yeah, right there, book? Okay. Okay. <clears throat> we have a... She's definitely going to have the nickname Polly. Absolutely. If I, I I talked to her about this or, uh, yesterday when she was telling me about her ideas. She wants to be a circle of spores, druid. So lots of spores, clearly, and a spring lantern. My allergy. All I could think of was <laughs> your seasonal allergies. <laughs> That's why I'm which is Colin. which is a brilliant, brilliant character concept. I love it. All right, acolyte. You spent your life in the service of a temple to a specific god or pantheon of gods. Eh, it's not, that's, that doesn't feel much like you. Uh, charlatan. You've always had a way with people, you know what makes them tick. You can tease out their heart's desires after a few minutes of conversation. You think that fits you? Hmm, that sounds fun. It does sound fun. Okay, we can put that one on the burner, hold on. Yeah. Put a pin on that one. We don't want to pick you out. We want to have a good look through. Yeah, yeah. Criminal. Mm. Do you think you're a bad kid growing up? No. Frogs raised me good. <laughs> I'm a good little... Frogs raised me good. Yeah. She Same. Was, she was raised by frogs. Raised by frogs. Same. Uh, entertainer? Maybe. Maybe? Uh, maybe she was, maybe she, um, maybe she played games with the young frogs, the tadpoles. Played games with the tadpoles? Maybe. Frog entertainer? Frog entertainer. <laughs> uh, folk hero? You come from humble social rank, but you're destined for so much more? Already the people of your home village regard you as their champion? Mm. Mm, not if you're raised by frogs, I think. That's true. They live in swamps. Yeah. Guild artisan. Meaning you're a maker of some kind. As a member of a guild. Yeah. Eh, that doesn't that doesn't feel too much like you. No, no. No, no, no. Uh, where's our next one here? Hermit. You lived in seclusion, either in a sheltered community such as a monastery, or entirely alone. For a formative part of your life. In your time apart from the clamor of society, you found quiet solitude and perhaps some of the answers you were looking for. No. She lived in the swamp with a whole bunch of frog friends. I think this is meant to say you lived apart from people. Oh, well, yeah. Mm, maybe. Maybe. Gets you medicine, religion, an herbalism kit. I feel like that's quite druidy. You don't have to pick it, of course. Uh -huh. But I feel like you should... Put a pin in that one. Pin. Yeet. A noble? Mm, no. 
Unless power means I ate the most mushrooms in a mushroom eating contest. <laughs> Uh, no, no, typically eating more mushrooms in a mushroom eating contest usually doesn't get you a crown. And Although it, it should. Sick. And it makes you sick. Yeah. Uh, ooh, here we go. Outlander. Ooh. You grew up in the wilds, far from civilization and the comforts of town and technology. You've witnessed the migration of herds larger than forests, survived weather more extreme than any city dweller could comprehend, and enjoyed the solitude of being the only thinking creature for miles in any direction. The wilds are in your blood, whether you are a nomad, an explorer, a recluse, a hunter-gatherer, or even just a marauder. Even in places where you don't know the specific features of the terrain, you know the ways of the wild. Pin. Pin. Okay. I agree. I feel like that would be a good fit. <clears throat> Sage. You spent years learning the lore of the multiverse. You scoured manuscripts, studied scrolls, and listened to the great experts on the subjects that interest you. Your efforts have made you a master in your fields of study. No. No? Rejected. Uh, sailor? No. She doesn't sail through the swamps. That's disrespectful. Uh, soldier? Uh, even they less. Yeah. No. I agree. Urchin, you grew up on the streets alone, orphaned and poor. You had no one to watch over you or to provide for you, so you learned to provide for yourself. You fought fiercely over food and kept a constant watch out for the other desperate souls who might steal from you. You slept on rooftops and in alleyways, exposed to the elements, and endured sickness without the advantage of medicine or a place to recuperate. You survived despite all odds and did so through cutting, strength, speed, or some combination of each. Frogs took good care of her. Frogs took good care of her. Good. Those are good frogs. She loves her frogs. Okay, so we kept... We put a pin in... Acolyte? The, 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 the tricky one. Oh, the charlatan. Right, 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 right. And then... Uh, Outlander. And Hermit. Yeah. Okay, let's see... There's also, oh, and Entertainer. Entertainer. Thank you, Garfax. I think I'll pick between... Okay, hold on, there's a couple more. Those are just the ones in the player's handbook. There's actually quite a few extra. A lot of them won't apply at all. Uh, let's see, even remotely possibly relevant. Uh... Far Traveler, Fay Lost. Can you tell me about that one? There we go. You grew up in the Fay Wild after disappearing from your home plane as a child. Perhaps you were spirited away by kindly Fay who thought you were destined for great things. Perhaps you stumbled through a Fay crossing by chance during a twilight stroll in the woods. Perhaps you were kidnapped by evil Fay, but escaped from their clutches. It's definitely fun, but, you know, it's up to you whether or not it fits. I don't think so. You don't think so? Okay, Frogs okay. Protect. Frogs protect. Okay. Uh, let's see, that's about far traveler. Oh, this just means you're from really far away. Doesn't, it doesn't really count as a whole ton. Um, let's see. Pirate. Swamp, swamp pirate. Give me your lily pads. <laughs> frogs protect, frogs attack, but mostly they bounce back. Love it. Well done, Garfax. Good job, Garfax. <laughs> All right. And which light hand? What's that? Oh, you worked with the the, the spoopy carnivore. Nah. Carnival. Yeah. See. Okay, so we're going to stick with Entertainer, Outlander, or Hermit. Okay, I want to. Wait, which one is the one I said? Like, which one is the one that says you read someone like a child's book? 
Uh, that is charlatan. I do want to, I think I want to pick between charlatan and entertainer. Charlatan and entertainer. All right. All right. Those are some choices I wouldn't have called, but that's okay. We can work with it. I kind of want her maybe to be like funny and stuff like that. You want her to be funny. Okay. Yeah. Like easy to like, but also can <clears throat> annoy people if she so wishes. Sure, sure. Okay, I get you. I get what you're putting down. Or in this specific in this specific sliver of character creation, this is describing how you've grown up over time. What's been the overriding influences on you as you've become an adult? <clears throat> A charlatan, you've grown up tricking people. Like, see, you get a favorite scheme. Do you, do you like to cheat at games of chance? Do you like to shave coins or forge documents? Do you like to worm your way into people's lives to prey on their weaknesses and secure their fortunes? Do you like to put on new identities like clothes? Sleight of hand cons on street corners? Do you, do you trick people and sell them worthless junk, making them think it's valuable? These are the kind of things a charlatan would have learned growing up in that kind of thing. No, Froggy's taught her be good. I think entertainer. Okay. She she uh she told stories to the Froggies. Okay. And the Froggies told stories to her. You drive in front of an audience. You know how to entrench them, entertain them, and even inspire them. Your poetics can stir the hearts of those who hear you, awakening grief or joy, laughter or anger. Your music raises the spirits and captures their sorrow. Your dance steps captivate. Your humor cuts to the quick. Whatever techniques you use, your art is your life. Ooh, excuse me. Yeah. That sound good? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's very good. Fire eater? Yeah. yeah. That would work good. Well, these are the different routines you can pick from. You can also come up with your own. But if you're just... You're not quite sure, you can always roll on this table, so we're going to go I like the idea of a poet and a storyteller. Okay, that's definitely a thing you can do. Uh, e, E. What's my alphabet? It's fine. I know my ABQs. <laughs> Alright. <clears throat> I know the phonetic alphabet. Okay. Let's get you an instrument, shall we? Something to accompany your fine... Storytelling. I like the idea of uh, like a like a little pan flute because it's small and it can be traveled with easily. Okay, I get you. Um, hmm, pan flute. I know what it is? What? How is that different from bird pipes? Because I thought that's what bird pipes were. What's a bird pipe? I don't know. Let's look it up. They do they, look like pan pipes. They are also known as pan pipes. They are the same thing. D and D Beyond. For shame. <clears throat> Although accordion, says Audie. That's a bold choice. <laughs> Hello, Auntie. Welcome. To <laughs> it's gonna get. It's gonna sound really sludgy with all the swamp water. Yeah, I, as funny as it is, I don't think it'll survive long in the swamp. <laughs> all right. Your mother had a good idea, though. Maybe something with your hands that you can play with your hands while you talk and tell the story. This is a joke. Banjo. Banjo it is. <laughs> it's a joke. <laughs> well, you could do lute, which is kind of a banjo. 
Is it like those fancy little guitars? Mm-hmm. Yeah, maybe she could like strap it to her back when she's traveling. You sh- you sure could. You like that? Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, where'd it go? I just saw it. Loot there. I know my alphabet. Your ABQs. <clears throat> I know my ABQs. All right. Suggested characteristics. We can add other things, but here are some good starting points. To help flesh out your personality, okay? Do you know a story relevant to almost every situation? Mm-hmm. How, or when you come to a new place, do you collect local rumors and spread gossip? No, that wouldn't be nice. Are you a hopeless romantic, always searching for that special someone? Since my mom's the DM, no. <laughs> fair. Gross. Yeah, no, that's fair. Yeah. That's a solid logic. Nobody stays angry at you at you for long, or around you for long, since you can diffuse any amount of tension. Ooh. That does sound good. Yes. Uh, do you love a good insult, even one directed at you? Probably not. Do you get bitter if you're not the center of attention? In-game, I know that's true in real life. Eris does. I don't think Paula would, though. She shared the attention with her funky friends. Gotcha. Uh, do you settle for nothing less than perfection? No. She, she was very rustic for living in a and stuff. That's what I thought. Can you change your mood or mind quickly as you change key in a song? Probably not. Yeah, I think it is. No one stays angry at you for long. One is the best. Yes, yes. She's right. very charming. Bam! Added. Yay! Your ideals. Okay, what are your ideals in life, do you think? Beauty. When I perform, I make the world better than it was. Mm. <clears throat> Tradition. The stories, legends, and songs of the past must never be forgotten, for they teach us who we are. Maybe. Creativity. The world is in need of new ideas and bored action. Ooh. I kind of like that one. I'm only in it for the funny, the, the funny and the meme. Nailed it. I the do money love, and the fame. I do love <laughs> funny and meme. Uh, I like seeing the smiles on people's faces when I perform. That's all that matters. I think that sounds like a pollen thing. Yeah. Uh, art should reflect a soul. It should come from within and reveal who we really are. I like five and six the best. Five and six? All right. You can go ahead and pick if you want. Or we can roll. Five. Okay. <laughs> Highly scientific process. I rely on it often. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo is the science of children. Thank you very much, sir. And I'm a child at heart. By which I mean I won't grow up. Ah, your bonds. My instrument is my most treasured possession, and it reminds me of someone I love. Hmm. Maybe. Someone stole my precious instrument, and someday I'll get it back. Nah, she wouldn't let anyone take her instrument. I want to be famous, whatever it takes. Nah. I don't think she cares about fame that much. I agree, it doesn't seem like her. I idolize a hero of the old tales and measure my deeds against that person's. Meh. I will do anything to prove myself superior to my hated rival. She doesn't hate anybody. (laughs) I would do anything for the other members of my old troop. She would. She does love her funkies. Well, a troop is a, a band of wandering performers. Although, I think with Gurfax's permission, we can swap it out for, for the umber, other members of my group of froggy friends. My tribe of frogs. What do you think, Gurfax? Is that acceptable? <laughs> the frogs are the band. Yeah. Says Mr. Spook. You're right, Mr. Spook. Can Pollen have been a member of a frog band? Excellent. They're called the Rolling Toads. Acceptable, because it's amazing. Yeah, they're called the Rolling Toads. <laughs> I made a funny. Uh, I love you, kiddo. I love you too, Papa. <laughs>
Oh, good. All right. <laughs> oh, okay. Your, your flaws. No one's perfect. Everyone's got a flaw. Except for... Chocolate. Fair. You'll do anything to win fame and renown. I think we covered we don't, don't like that. No, 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 no. She gets to start the game with inspiration. Perfect. Yeah. Nailed it. Oh, yes. That was well played. All right. Kids. Are you a sucker for a pretty face? Yeah. Mom's the DM. No. Mm. No. You gross. Sorry, Mom. A scandal prevents me from ever going home again. That kind of trouble seems to follow me around. Nah. Nah. I once satirized a noble who still wants my head. It was a mistake that I will likely repeat. People like her, so I don't think so. I have trouble keeping my true feelings hidden. My sharp tongue lands me in trouble. I feel like that one, maybe? Because a lot of people will like you, but there are still bad guys in the world. Mm. Don't, don't forget. Yeah. I don't think she would have been around any nobles, though. True. Uh, and despite my best efforts, I am unreliable to my friends. No, I don't think that's... I think five. You think five? She, I, I like, like to think she's true to her opinions. Excellent. But All also right. likes to tell stories. Character detailers. We picked... Uh, neutral up here. So, I think... Hmm. Neutral good, maybe? Because Mama wants us to be good-ish aligned. That's true. In order to it, so I think neutral good. Do the best they can to help others according to their needs. Many celestials, some cloud giants, and most gnomes are neutral good. <laughs> Alright, fate. Uh, we'll figure that one out later. Uh, possibly just frogs. nature. Fate. Frog front. <laughs> and lifestyle, you'll be at uh, wretched because you're a druid and you live in the woods. In the swamp. swamp. Yes. All right. What's your hair color? Do you know? Um, kind of like a really dark green. Dark green. Ooh, love it. What's your skin tone? Really light green, almost like sickly. Light green. Okay. What's your eye color, my dear? I forgot. Uh, you can pick right now. Oh, uh, very light yellow. Very light yellow. Okay. No, no. How tall are you? Do you know? We can look at heights and such over here if need to. Height and weight. You are uh, basically. Um, I don't know. What book is. Elegance. Elegance and Garfax, do you recall? Wild Mount? Wild Mount? No. Yes? The Rick and Morty one. <laughs> Aladrin is in Odang. Oh, <laughs> Hold on, we lost him. Mordecai, and hey! Spook for the win. Inspiration. Thank in you, in chat. Doesn't count in game for anything. Thank you, Mr. Spooks. There we go. Ugh. Where is... That's creepy. He's got a big knife. They're not... Eh? Those are all monsters, though. Yeah, those are all monsters. My... my... I'm not a monster, uh, I just my Oh, derp, nope, I'm fine. Everything's fine. I, got, I confused my. I hurt myself in my confusion, it's fine. I do that a lot. Yeah, me too. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Mr. Book says, of course. Alright, you can start off with a base height of 4 foot 6 inches. 90 pounds. You can roll 2d12 to add to your height if you'd like. Yeah. That's And 1d4 sure. pounds. Can you go get yourself a d12 and a d4? Can I borrow? 
Yes. Unlike well, Artie, your fingers aren't cursed. You can borrow my dice. <clears throat> <laughs> Love you, Artie. What other dice? D12 and a D4, my dear. Like the thing you say in golf. Yep. Okay, so I want 1D4 to your weight. 4. Four. So. 94 pounds. 94 pounds. Where are you here? I have 96 pounds. 94 pounds. Where are you here? You're quite wee. Mm -hmm. I mean, she is uh, very skinny. Here And 2D12. Oh no, it's not plus, it's times 1d4. Oh. Excuse me. Yeah, let's just keep it at 94 pounds. Mm -hmm. It's 260 pounds? That can't be right, is it? Did I have a stroke again? Gotta be a typo. Times one D four. Okay. Sp yeah, that's Spook says his elf is five foot ten, um, hundred and eighty pounds. Yeah, that doesn't feel like it makes any sense. Okay, I I actually had a height in Hero Forge. Okay. If I could use it. Uh no, not at the moment. Without Shared our username across the entire internet. No, no, no. If I could say it. Oh yes, of course yeah, you could say height. it. Um, five foot eleven is what I was thinking. Okay. I'm an inch taller than these spooks. <laughs> oh, perfect. Figured something out. And yes, hello, new folks, whoever you are. You're welcome to chat, we won't bite, but you're, of course, always allowed to lurk. <coughs> I don't mind. She is a bit of a bean pole. Who's what? We're gonna, we're gonna fix that, wait. <laughs> I pull it, skinny. Wait. Wait is base plus 2d12 times 1d4. Two D twelve is a height modifier. I'm so confused. Oh. oh, it's right there. Oh, base weight, base weight plus height modifier in pounds plus weight modifier. That's huge. Yeah, I think I'll do, I'll just make her like a hundred something pounds. Okay, we can do that, but hold on. I kind of want to figure this out now. I know, I'm sidetracking myself. Well, 2D12, where's your D12? You just stole one from me. No, I didn't. What? I'll put it back. Scroll. Or uh, roll. Don't scroll. scroll. Roll it. Hit on my butt. Seven. Seven. One more. Seven and eight. eight. So, 15. So, 90 plus... 15 is 105 pounds times 4. What? That less than a little bean pole. That make her 420 pounds. Huh? That doesn't make any sense. She's really skinny. <laughs> Him dust bad. E. Please Sweetie, excuse my dear Aunt Sally. Sweetie, I didn't understand PEMDAS when I learned it in school. Parentheses, exponents, and other stuff. I don't remember. I, I haven't used PEMDAS in 25 years or so. <laughs> Even now it's hard. Go oh, put those away. Please and thank you. Someone just tell me what the total is. <laughs> Please. <laughs> so 158, okay. 158. Fine. Pounds. I can live with that. Okay. <clears throat> Freaking heck. 
The heart is five foot nine. Okay. That's what you rolled. Would you like to keep it at five foot eleven? Yes, please. Okay, that's totally fine. I wanna be tall. 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 You're, you're still a bit of a, a, a skinny bean pole, but that's okay. Not freakishly so, like an episode of Monster Factory. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what that is, but that's how it's gross. Okay, age and years. Let's go to... Back to... Elves. <laughs> lanky like frog. <laughs> oh yes, those lanky frogs. <laughs> I mean, they do have long legs. Yes, but their bodies are quite chunky. That's okay, she whatever. Lived off, she lived off of mushrooms and good berry. Fair. Although elves reach physical maturity about the same age as humans, the elven understanding of adulthood goes beyond physical growth to encompass worldly experience. An elf typically claims uh, adulthood and an adult name around the age of 100 and can live to be 750 years old. Hmm. So, if you want to be a full-blown adult, true and proper, in about a hundred or so, I... but you can make yourself younger and still be emotionally and mentally mature. Like the rest of the party, not have to act like a little kid. I like the idea of 95. 95? Like young adult. Okay. But. So, a young whippersnapper, but not a wee baby. Or an old grandmama. And I believe you said you were a. Female. A, a lady. I'm a girl. A girl? G O R L. Just like Ruth says. You know, I'm respectable with me. Goral. Yes. <laughs> Is Goral. Spooks. <laughs> Alright, we got all those done. Uh, notes, organizations, allies, enemies, backstory, other. We can add these in later. Yeah, alright. As we figure it out, a lot of these we won't really know until the campaign starts. I have a pretty good <coughs> idea of the backstory, but I'll write that like tomorrow or something. Yes. It's not a, quite a stream thing. Uh, choose equipment or gold. Equipment. Okay, you'll get... You can pick a wooden shield or any simple weapon. What is it? Any simple weapon will be... I will tell you. Here. <laughs> Scroll up. Alright. We're going to get two weapons. Your simple weapons will be clubs, daggers, great clubs, hand axes, javelins, light hammers, maces, quarterstaffs, sickles, or spears. I like the idea of like a little stone dagger or something. A little stone dagger? Okay. You can do that. Especially for chopping up mushrooms for dipping. <clears throat> now you can also pick a scimitar, which is a sword, a specific kind of sword, or any simple melee weapon. Simple melee weapon. I don't think she would have a full bolt sword. Okay. Uh, what kind would you like? I I kind of like the ideas of hand axes or quarter staffs. Okay. Or maybe a spear. Well, a spear is a quarter staff in a pinch, and a quarter staff is a spear in a pinch. Yeah, the spear just has a pointy rock at the end for stuff. That's true. Have you mastered pointy rock technology? Yes. I actually remember when I made up when I had a pipe cleaner and I duct taped the lock to it. You did do that. That was a little crazy. <laughs> All right, a spear it is. It's got mushrooms going on it. All right. You get leather armor, an explorer's pack, and a druidic focus, which could be a sprig of mistletoe, a totem, which will be a little figurine type of thing, a wooden staff, a yew wand, or some sort of druidic focus. Being a, being a what? A little wooden mask. A little wooden mask. Yeah, like, it kind of covers, like, the, only the front of her face. And, like, she could, like, slide it down on her face and start casting magic with it. Okay. I that's... just thought that would be a neat idea. That is a neat idea. We we'll need to get some uh, uh, Dungeon Master approval on that. Mama. 
already approved it. Ooh, there you go. Pre-approved. Get a musical instrument, of course. We already decided you can have a lute. Yeah. Druids don't use metal. See, to me, I always, I always thought of it as druids don't like to... They don't really just get metal because people that make metal are usually very far away. Of course, it's a frog mask. I think that's important. <clears throat> but... Uh, metal is hard to maintain and hard to acquire when you live out in the middle of nowhere. But say, for like a dagger, maybe a poacher was being a naughty boy and had to be, let's say, persuaded to stop being a poacher. And in the process, perhaps relinquished any claim upon a nice steel dagger. And given that such things don't show up often, she tries her best to take care of it and use it. That's how I I like to think about it personally. Yeah, she got her dagger from a nasty poacher, and the frogs were quite proud of her. Mhm. Mm <clears throat> yeah. Plus, in a swamp, it's hard to keep a forge going. Yeah. I think like. Many things in nature, they wouldn't want to mine iron. But I think, I, I feel like druids are also practical enough to go, it's already out. It's already been manipulated and forged and turned into a dagger. Why not? The damage is already done. Using it to now help the rest of nature be okay. I like to imagine mm -hmm. she like, decorated it a bit to be like her own, like putting like a green wrapping around the handle. Cool. Maybe they wrote a little P on it yeah. for pollen. They don't want to make iron, but they'll recycle iron. Reduce, reuse, recycle. That's what I was thinking, Papa. Nice. And as a girl, I said at the same time. Ha <laughs> ha. All right. Your starting equipment. Get your loot. A costume. A pouch with 15 buckaroos, mm. as someone says, probably. And you can have a trinket, or a lock of hair, or a love letter. Trinket. A trinket, okay. A lock of hair kind of makes her sound like a stalker. And <laughs> a love letter, no thank you, we already established she's not a romantic person at all. Her true love is the swamp. Okay. And that might find looking little patches. We'll add all that. <laughs> Bloop. Okay. Uh, should be all your good stuff. Possessions. We can add a possession. We don't need that. We need items. Here we go. Um. Oh, I know what we need to do. Well. Trinkets. <laughs> we need. Yeah. The D hundred. I hope it's not a bumfly goblin head. That's Bring me nice. the D hundred, child. Where is it? Should be in the bag of dice like everything else. Where all my other dice go. Found it. There you go. The golf ball. The golf ball right on. ASMR. It's a fourteen. I don't even need to uh, scroll. An enormous scale, perhaps, from a dragon. Mm. Uses it as a shield. <laughs> <laughs> uh, actually, you can put that into personal possessions. Just copy and paste. All are done. Control C, Control V. All yes. All right. All right. Who knows how that might come into play? Actually, I might end up with a trend. We'll leave that out for now. But thank you. No, no. Face pets, face pets, face pets, yay. <laughs> the best is seeing it ever. Alright. Now, let's view your character sheet. Oh. There you are. Get you out of picture later on. What do you think, our effects? Are we approved? Can we level up? Gurf, gurf, gurf. Mama gurf. She's, hold on. 
there's a delay. I'm impatient. All right. Approved? Yes, approved. Approved. All right. Our campaign, we have been issued permission to start at level three. three. So we'll start, go to two first. Uh, <coughs> Druid Circle. We already know the option. True to the spores. Yep, circle of spores. Yeah. Uh, mushrooms. Don't do the mushrooms, man. You'll be getting access to these extra spells. Chill touch, blindness, deafness, gentle repose, animate, dead, gaseous form, blight, confusion, cloud kill, and contagion. Gaseous. Gaseous. That's okay. Does mm. that make them gassy? Yes. Not like a fart gassy, but... Mm. You, you can turn yourself into basically a fart cloud. <laughs> Just casually fly on people's faces. <laughs> you are a swamp druid. <laughs> uh, but no, you'll only get chill touch for now, but you'll get access to these extra ones as time goes on. <clears throat> LMAO fart cloud uh, Halo of spores. You are surrounded by invisible necrotic spores that are harmless until you unleash them on a creature nearby. When a creature you can see moves into a space within 10 feet of you or starts its turn there, you can use your reaction to deal 1d4 necrotic damage to that creature unless it succeeds on a constitution saving throw against your spell save DC. The necrotic damage increases to 1d6 at 6th level, 1d8 at 10th level, and 1d10 at 14th level. <laughs> that sounds so cool. You're going to fart so hard on things. Uh, you gain the ability to channel magic into your spores. As an action, you can expend a use of your wild shape feature to awaken those spores. Rather than transforming into a beast form. And you gain 1d4 temporary hit points for each level you have in this class. While this feature is active, you gain the following benefits. When you deal your halo spores damage, roll the die a second time and add it to the total. Nice. And I think you can do that every turn, can't you? Yeah. Right? Just uses your reaction every round. Shit. Nice. I am OP on. <laughs> Your melee weapon attacks deal an extra 1d6 necrotic damage to any target they hit. Nice. Well, this lasts for 10 minutes, but you lose uh, until you use all your temporary hit points or you use your wild shape again. Okay. Fun, 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 fun. Manage your hit points. How did you get here? We didn't roll. Is that the standard armor? It's 1d8 plus your constitution. Oh, you got a good, nice icon. That's right. So 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Yes, here. You need to roll your d8. Boop. Your second level. Brrrree. A 4. All right, roll that one more time for the next level because we'll just have to do it again anyway. Sorry, keyboard. 2. Oh. Oof. Not great, but that's okay. That's okay. You still got a nice, decent con. What a big poop, just like those fart clouds. Okay, so rolled. You did a four. No. Hit points six. That sounds more like a wizard. Should be a 16 total, right? No. I'd write down 12. So still only had a 14? 8, 9, 10, 12, Not sure how this part of the thing is supposed to work properly. <coughs> okay. Screw it. Off we go. Do we need to do anything else? Uh, no ability score increases this round. Everything else is the same. All right, you're level two. Okay, and then once more into the breach. Level three. Yep. Okay, do you get anything cool, level three? Sure. 
features. Oh, what? Uh, oh, that's right. We well, get to start with a feat, you said. Okay, we'll do that in a second. Additional spell up, yes. So, I don't see. Well, you're not fourth level. You do can get a wild companion. I can summon a froggy. So, my understanding is you just add these in, right? That's what I thought. Okay. We're going to go over here now. And we're going to go look at feats. Oh, that's right. You're right. Uh, your hit points. Okay, and then she be at 14. Okay. 17 hit points sounds a lot better than frickin' 6. Okay, character feats. Uh, we're not doing dragon marks. No, that's Agron. <clears throat> actor. You're good at mimicry and dramatics. It's being an actor. It's pretty self-explanatory. Sounds like it might go well with her um, storyteller thing. It potentially could. You're not wrong. Because actors are storytellers. That's true. They absolutely are. Your charisma score goes up by 1 to a maximum of 20. You get advantage on charisma deception checks and charisma performance checks when trying to pass yourself off as a different person. You can mimic the speech of, of another person or the sounds made by other creatures. You must have heard the person talking or heard the creature make the sound for at least one minute. <clears throat> it's not a bad, a bad one. She does live around a lot of animals, so That's she true. could easily scare a poacher off by sounding like a big bear. That you absolutely could do that. That seems to be quite fitting. Yeah, I like that. Okay. Chef, she can make swamp gumbo. Swamp gumbo? Yeah, like from Princess and the Frog. That, oh, true. New Orleans is pretty swampy. Maybe you just make fantastic gumbo. Swamp gumbo, just like Mama Frog used to make it. Mm, swamp gumbo. <laughs> uh, there's alert. Uh, that keeps you. <laughs> yeah, that's just spooky. Um, can't be surprised. No advantage for hidden attackers. Bountiful luck. Oh, you're no, that's a uh, racer in it. Yeah. Halfling. You're not a halfling. Quite different from a halfling. <laughs> Uh, chef, as we just mentioned. Um, let's see what else seems remotely fitting. Durable. Uh, oh, no, that's not quite swampy stuff. Yeah, she may be a bean pole, but she's strong. Um, elephant accuracy, you're not really using any wing. Winged? Ranged weapons. Uh, Fate touched? Eh, it's always fun. Um, but you haven't really geared yourself quite that way. Um, healer. You, th you are proficient in medicine. That'll get you... When you use a healer's kit to stabilize a dying creature, that creature also gains one hit point. As an action, you can use one use of a healer's kit to tend to a creature and restore 1d6 plus 4 hit points to it. Press additional hit points equal to the creature's maximum number of hit dice. Which is not a terrible thing. Um, inspiring leader. That's about giving a nice hearty speech and buffing it. Takes ten minutes, so, it's, so it's, it can be a little awkward, um, but it does fit your narration. Uh, 
uh, yeah, why not put a pin inhaler for now? Um, <clears throat> mobile. You're exceptionally speedy and agile. Wish there was a like a jump one. That just did jumps. Yeah. Oh yeah, because she's a froggy. Hanging out with all them frogs. Let's go. Oh. Um, there's a lot of things that'll add little extra tidbits, but none that really shout who you are as a as an entity. I like the idea of healer, actor, and chef. Okay, healer, actor, and chef. You got it. You got to pick one, though. At least for now, we can always we always scoop them up later. Before subtract one. Uh, unless you roll a one, yes. Healer, chef, actor. Healer, chef, actor. Okay. One healer. Oh, you said minus one. That's a zero. Reroll. Three. Chef. Healer chef actor. All right. Gumbo it is. I mean, gumbo does make the fun. Maybe that's why one of the reasons. We go I'm make some gumbo. Swamp gumbo. Mm. Finger effects are <laughs> yum. Um, no, do we need. Right, our feet again. Class features, feats, here we go. Manage feats, there we are. Chef. Heck yeah. Everybody in the in the party after a big battle. Paul, anyone want some swamp gumbo? <laughs> and a nice little bedtime story. <laughs> Alright. Swamp gumbo is my rap name. <laughs> Perfect. I love it. Alright. I I dub ye complete. Yeah. I'm gonna go. draw her. <laughs> okay, give me a big hug. Yay, hug. Thank you for letting me exploit you for fun and profit. You're welcome. <laughs> Once you draw her, you gotta draw the album cover for the Rolling Toads. Yes. <laughs> she she always carries an album for the Rolling Toads. Excellent. Everyone say goodnight to my errant offspring. I'm your carbon copy. Yeah, basically. Finally, a little girl. All right. Night, night, mommy. Night, night, um, spooks. Night, night, Auntie Addie. And night, night, future viewers. <laughs> Alright, go on, relax. I'll come up and tuck you in another while, okay? The Rolling Toads loves you. <laughs> I love the Rolling Toads. <laughs> I, I shall, I shall. Okay. <clears throat> okay, that was a D&D character. I, I'm, I'm digging it, I love it. It's fun, it's chaotic, it's everything a good character should be. Okay. Now, where am I? My characters. Off to a new character. Now it's my turn. Yes. Okay. I already know my name is going to be Mio. Because I looked up popular names on the internet earlier. Now, I was inspired by a, a series of exactly how you, how you can trust what you made. Um, I was inspired by a, a sub-genre of people on the internet that like to dress up in cosplay and dance to very silly music 
very uh what do you call it otaku type uh my example is this nice lady who goes by the name uh yao ren mao on youtube please feel free to check her out if you're interested i'm not going to play anything i don't want to accidentally be rude and have her feel like i'm trying to steal her content um can i play a bit of the dance without the music i think i can Like, this is not typically the amount, the, the amount, the kind of music and dance that is my personal taste. But I thought it's the exact opposite of a D&D &D character. And as soon as I had that thought, I wanted to make it a D&D &D character. Because that's who I am as a person. <laughs> so, always have homebrew on just in case. Optional class features. Uh, we're doing milestone, manual hit points, yields, using encumbrance, yes. Off we go. All right. <clears throat> now, I am the kind of person who likes to make crazy characters. Not only in personality, but also often in mechanics. <laughs> Because um, in my viewpoint, people with healthy lives, people with loving families, people with normal existences, average existences, don't pick up a sword and go, let's go fucking fight a dragon. Because normal people go, that's a bad plan, I'm not going to go fight a dragon for fun and profit. Sure, they may be inspired to defend their hometown against a dragon, but they don't go off into a dungeon just for funsies. No more people don't do that. You wouldn't do that. I wouldn't do that. It's dangerous. People die in there. That's how all that treasure got in there. It was other people, other adventurers, who didn't know what they were doing that got killed. to balance this out because Dungeons and Dragons is not a game obviously that you can win. There's no win condition. Unless I make the Dungeon Master get very frustrated and then take a break. In that case I won. But beyond that, you don't win. It's not like a board game. You're telling a story. No one wins a story. So I like to fashion these characters but before I know what's going on because if the thing that they're good at is useful great if not that's fine too because I'm not looking to win a game I'm looking to be interesting in a game and interesting people are talented they're skilled they're exceptional that's why they became adventurers Adventurer should be good at something. Even if that something isn't something that's useful for the campaign. They should all do at least one thing pretty darn good. Or else are you doing adventuring? That's that's my personal philosophy about building characters. Um, I... I... I have a rough idea of what race I want to be for her. My my otaku dancing girl. Although, uh, full disclosure, I did look her up. Uh, Yao Ren Mao. That particular young lady is actually Chinese, not Japanese. I just want everyone to realize I know that, and I'm not confusing the two. Um, but no, race. Obviously, in real life, she's a human. But I didn't come all the way to a fantasy game to be human. I came to escape reality by not being a fucking human. That's all there is to it. I, I personally find in my tastes, humans in Dungeons and Dragons are just boring. Statistically they might be useful, mechanically they might be useful, but emotionally 
they're fucking boring. If you if you play humans, that's cool. Have fun. Enjoy yourself. They bore the fuck out of me. I'm going to be human. There you go, Adi. <laughs> and that's okay. Be a human. I just don't want to be one. They bore me. Not that you thought I was going to say anything different about you, but you know. <clears throat> no. I have a couple of ideas for Ace. Um, she... My, my inspiration is very wee. Uh, my random name, Mio, by the way, I just looked up popular uh, Japanese girls' names. Um, because at the time I thought she was Japanese. Because uh, of the Um And I just picked one I liked because I don't want to be her, just inspired by her. Let's correctly had suggested Shifter. Shifter was good. Small tabaxi, also good. I was also thinking, um, what were they called again? Aaron L, known to be very uh, separate and isolationist, very Japanese, at least historically, of course. <laughs> Going to the Rand Ferris here, so it kind of has to be human. I mean, kinda. Maybe. Spooks are just goblin. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, that's something. Okay. Let's not look at the goblins here. That's gonna confuse the character creation. Goblin. No, 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 you are not allowed to play as a cute goblin girl. I mean, I can. Let's see. Occupy an uneasy place in the world. They react by lashing out at any creatures they believe they can bully, cunning in battle, and cruel in victory. Mm. Not quite me, but these are, of course, always... These are always loose. You're not always entirely bound by them, of course. Booyogs. Ah, goblin spellcasters. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Let's see. Their dexterity has scored on increase by two, and your constitution goes up by one. Okay. Reach adulthood at age eight. Holy moly. New books have modified these backstories. Which books have modified it? Because this should be... fairly up to date. Uh, between 3 and 4 foot tall. Between 40 and 8 pounds. Size small. Walking speed 30 foot. Yes. Uh, a, lot, a lot of them... At least in, in my opinion. And that is can be worth whatever you feel like it's worth and I accept that uh, most of them didn't really come across as terribly racist but some people did and that's their right to be not uh, a fan of something uh, sometimes I find things offensive we all do on occasion but apparently the bark of certain individuals based upon certain races thought that they were a little typical and well, a little racist. And so things have been not modified. And that's fine, because honestly, A, I don't want I don't want my favorite game to be rude to people. And more importantly, while these are good baselines, I like having more freedom in my character creation. I get more freedom, other people are happy and less and and not offended. It's a win win. So I'm I'm one hundred percent okay with that. <clears throat> Monsters of the Multiverse. Alright, let's go have a look at that. Monsters of the Multiverse. Coming soon. 
Yep, we don't have that yet. Hmm. Do we Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Okay, well, perhaps in the future we will use the stuff from here once the book is actually out. Does it say when it might be out? No. It's out physically, not digitally. Ah, that's annoying. <clears throat> that's annoying. Hmm. I wonder if we can find a, a tidbit of it somewhere. Um, first goblin. I'm already skeptical because skeptical they call them nerfs, but... Retaining the majority of their abilities and even gaining advantage of saving throws against the charm condition, they receive a similar damage reduction to that of Asimar. One of a goblin's key features, Fury and Small, allows it to deal extra damage to a creature larger than a goblin. I like that. Told his ability used to deal damage equal to the goblin's level, recharging on a short rest, and now deals damage equal to the proficiency bonus. Okay. That's not quite as good, but it's not terrible. Told this trait can now be used a number of times equal to a goblin's proficiency bonus. Okay. Regained after long rest, rather than short rest. When used within shorter combat encounters or in a campaign with several encounters broken by short rests. Okay, okay. It's still... That's not bad. Uh, it's not going to show up in the book, though, so I think perhaps we'll have to avoid it for this go-around. Unless uh, the Madame Gerfax will allow me to change it later on. <clears throat> hmm. Still thinking, still thinking. Hmm. <clears throat> I'm not, not a huge fan of their sort of wild family life tribal life at least for this character of course hmm <laughs> they're a little uh, overly primal hmm hmm tabaxi's good and our inspiration's name, Yaren Mao, translates to, I believe, Cat Who Bites. Obviously, it's her screen name, not her real name. Um, I don't know if I really want to be an actual cat. Or though. I was just about to say, Garfax, can I can I bribe you to be wholly humanoid in appearance other than the claws and the ears? This is pro tip number one. Don't be afraid to try to bribe your, your dungeon master if it doesn't change anything mechanically. And even then, maybe. But the bribe might be more expensive. Excellent. Since you have to get up at half five in the morning for work, how about a fancy coffee tomorrow morning? <laughs> yes, Zaiwu. I wasn't probably not pronouncing that right, but I had heard that word, yes, <clears throat> when I was looking. Yowlin Mao up earlier. Oh, 
I'm also kind of going with a Japanese vibe as opposed to Chinese because I've actually been learning a lot about Japan and learning Japanese language slowly but surely. Um, and any reason to even remotely put it to good use, I would prefer. Also, she wasn't the first person I found doing this stuff. In my defense. Garfix is pondering the coffee. But no claws if I have human hands. But ma'am. <laughs> is she? I'm, I'm down for super, super long nails. She is a cat girl. In her defense. No way she's 34. No. No. I rolled a disbelief. I rolled a disbelief. I don't... Fucking hell. I wish I looked that good at 40, let alone 34. Okay. So I can be a cat girl. I just need to have super, super long nails and give my DM a coffee. Tabaxi girl, it is. Because it's funny to me. Alright, we'll be getting plus two dexterity, plus one charisma, uh, normal human lifespan, slightly taller than average and relatively slender, size is medium, 30 foot walking speed, can see in the dark like a kitty cat, can't discern color, all the stuff we went over with uh, the kiddo. Feline agility, your reflexes and agility allow you to move with a burst of speed. When you move on your turn in combat, you can double your speed until the end of your turn. Once you use the straight, you can't use it again until you move zero feet on one of your turns. <laughs> no, I'm not going to do Leonin. <laughs> yes. Like I said, if it doesn't really alter, especially if it really doesn't alter the mechanics at all, and it doesn't provide you a systematic advantage, and it's just all flavor, always, feel, always try to talk to your dungeon master. <clears throat> Always feel free to try to butter them up with a with a, a good snacko or bring in food to game if you're a, a group that eats together. You'd be surprised at what you can get if you bring pizza a couple nights in a row. Uh, let's see, cat's claws because of your claws slash really really long fingernails. Uh, you have a climbing speed of 20 feet. In addition, your claws are natural weapons, which you can use to make unarmed strikes. If you hit with them, you deal slashing damage equal to 1d4 plus your strike modifier, instead of the bludgeoning damage normal for an unarmed strike. Nice. You have proficiency in the perception and stealth skills. Does she have those cos ears? Can speed read, speak, read, and write common in one other language of your choice. Yes. I don't know what Kosiers means. You confuse me. Okay. To pick a language. Kosiers are carriers on a headband that have a motor in them, so they move independently. Yes, she has those, but those are her actual ears. Because why not? <laughs> okay, let's see. Abyssal, celestial, don't know what that is. Deep speech, draconic, dwarvish, elvish, joint, get, gnomish, goblin, halfling, infernal, crawl, leonin, loxodon, marquesian, inator, nosh, orc, primordial, quarry, redran, servant, undercommon, vidalkin, and zemnian. 
I believe they exist in real life. I just want them to be her actual ears. Hmm. This is part where it starts to come into play. We're going to be doing the Curse of Strahd campaign, and I haven't read anything about it yet. On purpose, because I want to be surprised. So let's see if I can find a language that I think, just from the name, might be useful. And we'll roll the bones later on and see. Artesian, Zemnian, and a few others are critical role. Ugh, critical role. Cannot escape it. Everyone's always on a critical role. <clears throat> hmm. <laughs> Who do we think she might talk to on a regular basis? Um, cats are assholes. Could go infernal. You know, now that I said it out loud, I dig it. As soon as I said it, it was cemented in my head. Now. Class. Always a, another key component. And I doubt longer heard about this, but I doubt the... about what she might be capable of doing. What would be her style to do? And then I don't. I think a lot of things don't really go with the the aesthetic she wants in her life. Very similar to Yaren Mao. <clears throat> so I think she will tell everyone that she's a bard. She's going to act like a bard, but she's not actually going to be a bard. She's in fact going to be a rogue. Because why not? Proficiencies. I get to pick four. Holy moly. Forgot rogues. Nice. Yes. Hello, dragon. You got me nice and early in my character creation. We'll be helping dragon out with hers on Thursday. When her and I have our weekly sibling hangout time. If we don't hang out too often, we get all cranky and, and sassy. Can't, can't keep twins apart too long. We get all fidgetsome. Yes. <laughs> um, we're, we'll see if she feels like having me do hers on stream later. That even if we just do it in person, we'll figure that out tomorrow. Yes, you can rewatch it uh, later. We made a circle of spores druid for the kiddo, for your lovely niece. <clears throat> she went with a a spring seasonal eladrin elf, fey elves that are highly influenced by a season. So she's a a spring season elf, circle of spores druid, which clearly. She's seasonal allergies. <laughs> so her name is Pollen. Exactly. See, I knew you'd appreciate that. <clears throat> All right. To catch up really quick there, my dear. I am creating a character roughly, loosely based on this lady and others with her talent skills who does little dancing otaku or the Chinese equivalent of otaku uh, dancing videos. And I've made her a rogue. She's going to be a tabaxi, but a very humanoid tabaxi because cat girl. Yes. 
I'm sure she'll be very excited to tell Auntie Dragon about all her character details. She's a dancing elf. Yep. She's going to tell everyone that she's a bard. Ah, uh, but she's actually going to be a rogue. Although, bard isn't only just a character class. It's just a job, too. So it won't really be a lie. She will dance. She just won't be the bard class. Alright, so we're going to pick ourselves some rogue skills. Rogue skills. Uh, well, we need performance. Clearly. Because we got to dance. Got to dance! Yeah, exactly. Just like punk. It's a lifestyle. Let's see, I think she'd be... Hmm. <laughs> I'm posturing. Posture checking, rather. Quite possibly. I think she's gonna go slight a hand. She's gonna have quick, dexterous little hands. <laughs> Take persuasion. Because who doesn't want to listen to a, a, a cute dancing cat girl? I mean, honestly. And the screen is not showing the drop down menu. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay, well, here's what's left of the skills acrobatics, athletics, deception, insight, intimidation, and investigation. Gotcha. Acrobatics, athletics, deception, insight, intimidation, and investigation. I like acrobatics, I like deception. Mm, I think deception more than acrobatics. Expertise. Get it. Pick two of those skills and uh, double my profession. Proficiency bonus for any ability check I make with them. Yes. <clears throat> well, obviously, performance. We gots to dance the good. Gots to do the good dancing. Or else, what's the point? Hmm. And I think sleight of hand. <laughs> this game is going to trigger my big brother, Uncle Instinct, so hard to Oh, well, there you go. Who doesn't need a good big brother and uncle? So yeah, performance, because we got to dance good. Sleight of hand, because we don't want to break the illusion, the cuteness. Get sneak attack and we get thieves can't. Yeah. We're definitely going to roll her. How was work today? Yes, how was work today, my dragon? Let's get our pad of paper. My handy dandy rocket book of reusable paper. Right, I've got my my lucky D6s here. They're lucky because I blessed them by a monk at a mountaintop. No, they just all have sixes on every face. I lie, they don't have that. Um, six, four, four, three. Okay, that's not bad. That's a 14. I'm not mad about a 14. Let's go click clack here. Yeah. It's a little noisy. Let's see if I can avoid hitting the keyboard. Make it a little bit quieter. Mats, rocks, go clickety clack. Okay. Reroll that one. That is an 18, and you know what? I don't even care what the rest of it is. I'm happy. Yep, I got I got an 18. I can die happy. I'm not even mad. Uh, six, four, and three. That's a 13. That's fine. 
You can give me pretty much anything at this point. I'm not going to be mad. Make or break a whole huge... Oh yeah, absolutely. It's not even my fucking rogue skill and it's going into charisma. I don't care. <laughs> I'm already too powerful. Everything's coming up lucky for the cat girl. Alright. That's 12, 13, 14. That's a okay by me. <laughs> Ooh, roll that one. Okay. Uh, six, two, two. That's a ten. Not great, but that's fine. I ain't mad. I am not mad at our main connecto. Ah, yes. Oh, I love it. That's what I want my trinket to be. Little lucky cat statue. I love it. Let me take a lucky at some point. Uh, that's five. One more. Reroll to one, as per instructions. Six, six, four, two. So that's a 16. Dang. As soon as I promised a lucky cat statue, get a 16. Okay. You know what? I'm I'm content with that. I'm not gonna make a single argument against any of that. Damn. Okay. Streaming luck, I guess. All right. Just so you all know, I'm making every character on stream from now on. Fuck. I don't even care if you watch. I just have to be recording. <laughs> Okay. Okay, well, obviously, 18 goes to charisma. <laughs> shit, maybe I should have you make mine on stream. I'm, I'll do it. I do I, I, Like I tell everyone, I am happy to help you make characters. I know not everyone's got the, the base of knowledge that I do, because I sit around when I'm bored and read D&D books like a weirdo. At least in our circle of friends, I seem to be the one of the one of the brains most aptly geared for character creation, which not the most useful thing in life, but you know, don't you need to make the rules for me too. <laughs> we can talk. We can. Talk. I, you can bribe other players too. <laughs> All right, yeah, obviously 18 goes to charisma, because whatever. There's no there's no option for that. Okay, so we got a 16. We're going to put that into our decks, because she's clearly very dexterous and agile. Uh, typically, decks are strength if, in a, if you're of a, of a bashing bent, if you like to smush things. But uh, that's that's a very niche option. So yeah, typically dexterity. <clears throat> okay, let's cross those off as I used them. 10, 13, 14, 14. Hmm. Hmm. I think we're gonna do a 10 in strength because we're gonna be quite quite wee. Physics is not necessarily on our side for strength. 13, 14, 14. Um, see, 14 constitution, 14 intelligence. I think we're going to put the 13 in wisdom. Do I like that? Hmm. 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 <laughs> you know what? I don't. Put the 13 in strength. I think she's stronger than she looks. Put a 10 into wisdom. Don't I don't feel like cats are exceptionally wise. Jerks. We knock stuff off when we shouldn't. 
We don't understand that as expensive. Yes, I know there's food in the bowl, but I can see the bottom of the bowl. I must be starving. I think that's a lack of wisdom. I like that. <clears throat> She's not going to be per very perceptive because of this, but that's okay. That's okay. I'm going to miss a lot of things. Lots of catnaps. Why didn't she see the, the bad guy sneaking up on us? Catnap. Sorry. Fell asleep. The, I was in the sunshine. It uh, fell asleep. Sorry. It was warm. Comfy. I couldn't help it. Sorry. Okay. All right. Specifically looking the other way, just to spite you. Exactly. You told me to keep watch, but I said I didn't want to, so I got angry and I didn't do it. We nearly died. Hmm. Fun fact: I think it's empty because of the blind spot right below chin. What eating does allow them to see the edges of the bowl. <laughs> oh, that's very interesting, uh, Spook. I didn't know that. That makes sense, though. Yeah, but when I say when I say that, you're all no. You need to drive. That's true. I do say that. I regret nothing. Um, got our language in. Yep, we went infernal. I'll drive your car. I don't mind. That's fine. I'll drive your fancy. Toyota Prius with your fancy electric uh, background, 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 background. I think obviously entertainer. I don't think. Yeah, we might use a musical instrument. Oh, we just get acrobatics. Oh, I wanted that anyway. All right. Hmm. animal handling because I'm good with cats. Choose a musical instrument. Let's see. <clears throat> I don't know what all these are. Dulc bagpipes, bird pipes, drum, obviously dulcimer. What's a dulcimer? Let's look it up. Dulcimer. It's a stringed folk instrument. Cool. Uh, I don't think I want a stringed instrument. Flute. Glar. It's a glar. Oh. Popular among bards. Oh, that's from the Forgotten Realms. <laughs> okay. That's not nearly as cool. Um, hand drum. What do you define as a hand drum? This is like a ballroom. Oh, okay. Horn. Just a blaster on the horn. Yes, like a ballroom. Ah, oh, okay. That I get. Why didn't I say that? <laughs> Uh, loot, liar. Isn't a liar basically the same thing? Oh, it's your little mini harp looking thing. Gotcha, gotcha. Excuse me. Okay, I don't like that. Or for the character. Pan flute, shawm. It's a shawm. Not Sean Mendez, yeah, fucking weirdo. <laughs> the ancestor of the oboe. <laughs> I like saying oboe. Looks like bagpipes. No, it don't. Looks like an oboe. Don't disrespect the oboe. Longhorn. Is that like those really wacky ones I see in paintings? Ricola. 
<laughs> Love it. I don't want to drag it around a fucking dungeon, but... <laughs> uh, Songhorn? Hello, Princess Rocky. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I'm here looking I need to finish up work tomorrow. That's fair. Hang out. Relax. Listen to my dulcimer tones. Whatever that means. <laughs> I'm going to say you cannot bring one of those. Oh, now I want it more. Now that you said I can't have the longhorn, I want the longhorn. Uh, songhorn. Is that just like a saxophone? Type of thing? What is a songhorn? Oh, it's just a uh, penny whistle. Use real words, you bastards. I might do that then. Tan tan? Sounds like a percussion. Ah, nailed it. That's cool. A little barky. It's a penny whistle. The uh, songhorn. The lore. We're learning so much this evening. It's a simple wind instrument cut from a reed. And what the fuck's this? Why are you here? Alright. Well, I don't want one of those. Okay. Back we go. I'm gonna go to Songhorn. I'm gonna... I'm gonna be armed with naught but my wits, my cat ears, and a penny whistle. God damn it. Back by popular demand? Of course I'm always by popular demand. Yes, if you got a second to look up, Rocky, basing it loosely on this girl on YouTube. Feel free to check her out, everyone. It's Yao Ren Mao on YouTube. I want to make sure I keep shouting her out so she, so no one thinks I'm trying to rip off her stuff. <clears throat> so, yes, so make it a cat girl. Because... Why the fuck not? <laughs> Alright. Suggested characteristics. I know a story relevant to almost situation. Eh. No welcome to a new place. I'll collect local rumors. Nah. <clears throat> I'm a hopeless romantic. Always searching for that special someone. Uh, maybe. I'm okay with flirting with a dungeon master. Given that I've been doing it for 17 years. When I say something silly, I like to turn and quickly look at Garfax and wait for her action. It's like I just enough time delay to quickly look behind me and see how she reacts. <laughs> oh, drink. Very well. I like it. Another. Uh, no one stays angry at me or around me for long since I can defuse any amount of tension. I love a good insult. Good insult, even one directed at me. I get better if I'm not the center of attention. I'm a cat. Yes. I should always be the center of attention. Why the fuck aren't you looking at me? <clears throat> That's the idea. There's beauty. When I perform, I make the world better than it was. That's true. Tradition. Eh. Creativity. Maybe. Great, I'm only in it for the money and fame. No. People, I like seeing the smiles on people's faces when I perform. That's all that matters. I mean, somewhat. Art should reflect the soul. It should come from within and reveal who we really are. Hmm. Hmm. <clears> hmm. <throat> hmm. I think we're going to go with creativity. The world's in, world is in need of new ideas and bold action. We're doing cosplay dancing on YouTube. That's a new idea and it's new bold action. I think I think that's quite suitable. My instrument is my most treasured possession and reminds me of someone I love. Nah. Someone stole my precious instrument. Somebody I'll get it back. 
Yes, it was this little red circle on the ground. When I went to grab it, it was gone. Stolen by someone, I don't know whom. <laughs> I'll find that red dot one day. Um, <laughs> I want to be famous, whatever it takes. I idolize a hero of the old tales, measure my deeds against that person's. Yeah. Hmm. Search for the red dot. Hmm. Hmm. One of these do I like? I can make my own, but I don't know if I can be arsed at this current time. My writing process is a little. Time consuming and always listen to a lot of music. Uh, that's not really a stream friendly activity. I'm very likely to get myself in trouble. So I want to pick. I want to pick. Hmm. <clears throat> hmm. I think I'm going to go with my. Calling it now. The entire pot be drilled as well. Trying to help the cat girl get her in diving. <laughs> it was a drum. I patted it and it made sound. It was just a floor underneath the laser. It wasn't a drum. It was a leaky, uh, 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 squeaky floorboard underneath. No, 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 no. Okay. I think I'm going to go with my instrument as my most urgent procession. I don't want to be too farcical. I need the right amount of farcical. Yes. It reminds me of someone I love. My penny whistle came from Mama. Mama gave me whistle. Now I play it. And flaws. I'll do anything to win fame and renown. I'm a sucker for a pretty face. Scandal prevents me from ever going home again. <laughs> the kind of trouble scene. A scandal prevents me from ever going home again. They keep calling me Weeb and they chased me out. <laughs> but I live here. Get out here, fucking Weeb. <laughs> uh, alignment. Where do we go with creativity? So we're going to be chaotic. Cats are chaotic, that makes sense. Chaotic, neutral. We're cat girl, but we're still a cute cat girl. So we got to be a little, little good. <laughs> nah, you're not that far, Sakura. You're fine. Uh, I'll say modest. I'm a cat, I have standards. Okay, here. Black skin. Uh, uh, humanish? Skin normal. I don't know. Humanish. I didn't spell that right at all. Soft. <laughs> I like soft. It's just soft. Uh, let's see. Can we see our eyes in any of these? Maybe we. We're still muted. Okay, good. Looks like brown. Okay. what I thought too. Okay. <clears throat> hmm, I wonder. Yellow now height. I spelled it wrong. Now it um, no. 
can't tell. Okay, well, how tall are Tabaxi? <laughs> Man, I want to have to make my character from the DM. Hey, pick a NPC. Don't tell me what they're going to do. I mean, obviously not Strahd, because I already know it's Strahd. But pick another NPC. You want me to stand out for you. Just don't tell me anything. Don't tell me we'll, when they'll show up. Okay, uh, let's see. Taller than average than humans and relatively slender. Okay, that's not super helpful. Let's go to. Uh, where are you? Hugh. Oh, excuse me, I hiccuped. Human! Tell me your secrets, human. Where are... Are you going to be in a player's handbook, I wonder? I think you will be. Okay. Off to the player's handbook we go. Uh, character details. Human. Base height, 4 foot 8. Plus 2d10. If I want to randomize it. Do I want to randomize it? Hmm. I do want her to be pretty short. She is quite... Ron Volos. Let's see if we can look at the Volo. Nope. Wrong tab. Volo, Volo, Volo. Where's my alphabet? I'm still working on that goddamn alphabet. I'll get there one of these days. Your actual daughter is five foot. She is. She's quite the, the tall girl. Oh, well, where were these things when I was doing stuff? God dang it. Oh, it just says the same thing. Boo. <clears throat> Alright, well, let's do... That's a two, and that's a three. So five inches on four foot eight, ten on twelve, five foot one. Yeah, I'm fine with that. Five foot one inch. Slightly taller than my kid. I'm terrible with imperial weight in pounds, which is. Just under a dollar? I don't know. I'm kidding, I, I know. Don't yell at me. Don't at me. Okay. The dice roll, the dice roll given in the height modifier column determines a character's extra height in inches beyond the base height. That same number multiplied by the dice roll or given quantity in the weight modifier column determines a character's extra weight in pounds. Okay. Is she? You found it. I guess I did not look very good. Alright, well, I will. I'll stick to cannon. I, I don't mind. I'm not gonna ask how much she weighs, that feels rude. Never ask a lady her weight. Okay, that's a one. And. A one on okay. Well, <laughs> so a five times two is ten, so 120 pounds. That seems thick for four foot ten. 80 pounds or so. Okay, we'll go with that then. We can do that. Uh, we'll do 80. Sure. Age and years. Uh, I'll go with 20. We have a normal human ish lifespan. Oh, none of those. <sighs> the whole internet got to watch me butcher that word. Female. Okay, 
I'm going to come back to the tabaxi for a moment. I need these extra personality bits. I need to figure out how to add them in. Definitely need a cork and an obsession. My curiosity is fixed. Well, let's roll and see what it gets if I'm inspired. Seven. A location. I mean, it'd be fitting for a Strahd campaign, but I don't actually know a lot about it. So I don't know if I could really roleplay that super well. <clears throat> Ooh, a monster. I could just be obsessed with Strahd. I hate that, dude. Can my monster be Strahd? Sweet Dungeon Master. I just hate, I hate the way his name sounds. It pisses me off. Okay. Very well. That's reasonable. Okay. <clears throat> no, that's fair. I'm not arguing. I accept your mighty ruling. Uh, wizard secrets, a mundane item, a magic item. But which? Hmm. Hmm. What kind of magic items might we become obsessed with? Let's see. Magic items. Yes. Mama DM says. Mama say no. Hmm. I thought I said abracadabra for a moment. Hmm. 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 Good ring obsession. Lucky cat statue. Hmm. Hmm. But that's not magic unless you make it magic. Can I have a magic lucky cat statue? Or can I be obsessed with a lucky magic cat statue? There's no such thing as the perfect dance. They're all perfect because I did them. <laughs> I don't know. I'm just making shit up now. There we go, I like that. Uh, uh, how do I... Okay. How do I... Add... These things... On you, d, &D Beyond. Backstory or no, it's okay. Backstory. Tabaxi obsession. I am obsessed with finding a magical lucky cat statue. Love it. And Tabaxi Quirk is. Oh my gosh, you got too many points there, Spook. Oh. No, I'm not going to download you, Firefox, because you keep asking me to download the latest version of Firefox, and then I click it, and nothing happens. So no, fuck off. <clears throat> I, just, I just need the perfect Lucky Cat statue. My quirk. I miss my tropical home and complain endlessly about freezing weather even in summer. You never wear the same outfit twice unless you absolutely must. You have a minor phobia of water and hate getting wet. There we go. <laughs> Ooh, you purr loudly when you are happy. Ooh. Hmm. Hmm.
Hmm. Do, 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 do. I think we go with Purr. That seems the sickeningly adorable thing that should be. Like, cute, but so cute that you're just like, oh, come on. Number nine is attacking you personally. You are fun to run through you know, from the last you discovered. It's kind of attacking me too. It's attacking all of us. Alright. We got all the rest of these things. Okay. Off to the next section. Equipment or gold, equipment or gold, equipment or gold. Hmm. I think we're gonna go with gold. Hmm. No, I don't think she has a tear. <laughs> oh, maybe she has equipment. <laughs> See, she's got too much stuff. Hmm. Like, I don't see her using a rapier or a short sword. Short bow? Sure. Yeah, I'll just say that. Okay, so, oh, randomized. Here we go. 70 gold. Add starting gold. Nailed it! Not possessions. No. Add items. Alright. Gonna need at least a weapon. Let's get ourselves a just a good dagger. We're gonna get ourselves a short bow. There we go. Cause we want some weapons. Quiver. Arrows. Oh, it doesn't? Fuck. Oh, no, it doesn't. Shit. Alright, um. Twenty arrows. 20 arrows. Oh, add 200. No. Oh, bundle size. Oh, okay. No, 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 no. Just, just one bundle. Whoo. Could go for darts instead of bow. Hmm. <clears throat> hmm. Maybe we'll add that for now. Let's look, let's look at darts. Range 20, 60 foot, 1d4, piercing, finesse drone. Hmm. 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 I like this. Uh, Garfax, are we doing... There's a chance your arrows will break rules. Because if so, darts would be more sturdy. So they have the punch. They're usually made out of metal. Or sturdier wood. Alright. I think we're going to do that instead then. Ooh, she could have one of those starts on a string. I guess you're using a dancing mirror, but potentially. I don't know if that's actually in the game all day, but it does sound cool. I like I like the notion of that, yeah. Yeah, rope darts. Poi. Ooh, also a fire poi. I don't can 
I don't know if that's a D and D. Hold on. <laughs> uh, okay, let's do ten. Ten times point oh five is oh five half a gold. We'll do twenty for a solid one gold. I think that made sense. All right, my child has returned to remind me I must give her good night kisses, or the world will collapse, and hellfire will rain down, and she'll have nightmares. Darts. Oh, all the darts is one gold. Then matter they're one gold apiece. I was like, oh fuck. <laughs> No, I don't want that at all. Change my mind. Alright, I'm gonna go put the baby to sleep and then I will come back and I will look for a rope dart or a fire poi or many of those things. We'll see what we can find. We might have to dip into some homebrew and get some approval on the fly. But I'll be right back and we will give that a go. Where's my be right back screen? Here we are. Be right back.
Hello, I'm back. Where's our screen? Here we are. Hmm. Rope dart could be a whip with piercing instead of slashing. That would be badass. Yeah, poise probably not a weapon unless you're, you know, flammable. Okay. Let's get rid of those. Get rid of that. Yes. And then that. No. Nope. Go away. Thank you. <clears throat> Tell about twenty of you. Buy another ten. Okay, here we go. Can I not just go up to 20? No, it doesn't like that. Okay. Keep some in a bag, some on the person. That's how we'll do that. Okay. Didn't find any whip. Hmm, that's unusual. Pretty sure whip is a weapon. Okay. I mean, I suppose. <clears throat> Not sure if I'm proficient in arm blades either. Because I'm not a warforged, but you know, here we are. Boomerang. <laughs> I want a plus one boomerang, please. <laughs> uh, who knows? Okay, um... Okay, they don't have point. Alright, let's look for... We don't need magical items. Nope. Scroll up, please. Thank you. Uh, game rules. We need equipment. Here we go. <coughs> Whip. Hmm. It's finesse for each 1d4, 2 gold. No proficiency. That might be true. Back to the player's handbook. This is quite normal when coming up with characters. You tend to flip through several books. Uh, do, 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 do. <coughs> Ooh, excuse me. Hmm. Dart. Yep, Marshall, you're right. Okay. I may have to uh, practice with that in game and see if I can... Yes. <clears throat> she already told me what she wanted and I know where to find most of the things relevant to that. But when you're coming up with a new idea, there's a lot of bouncing around between books. Okay. So, I like the poi in a rope dart. I don't know if. Hmm. Adventuring gear. Can we find. Poi? No, I didn't think so. Martial Masterpiece might be worth it. Maybe. I don't. I don't. I like the idea of the rope dart. It's cool. I don't know if I want to waste a feet to get it, though. Bolas? Bolas might be. Uh, bola, 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 bola. No, wrong way. Bolas. No, no bolas. Net could also be hilarious. You're not wrong. Let's we get everything we need from this page so we can navigate away now. 
Let's try. <clears throat> no, I don't want magic items. I want regular items. Has no one homebrewed regular items before? Maybe it's a magic one. Let's see. Whoop. Processing. Processing. <laughs> Only magical ones. Oh, nope. Common weapon dagger. And here's a regular one as well. It's under equipment for non magical items. Huh? I did not see that. Yeah, that's not a thing. Spells, monsters, magic items, background speeds, races, and subclasses. <clears throat> okay. Where'd I go? There's kunai, rope dart. A throwing... Yeah. A throw a knife affixed at the end of a long rope or chain. You can also substitute the knife for a stone for bludgeoning effects. Proficiency with a dagger allows you to add your proficiency bonus to the attack roll for any attack you make with it. Okay, 15 foot range. To restrain, you must need a, meet a dex check of 15. To pull a creature towards you, you must succeed on, on a contested strength check. Hmm. Hmm. I feel like this is giving you an upgraded whip without obeying the restriction of a whip of being a marsher. <clears throat> There's a bunch of them now. Holy moly. Alright. Maybe not that. What poi? Poi poi. Come on, D&D Beyond, you can do it. I believe in you. Uh, no, that's all just poison. Hmm. Is a weapon? Maybe it's a weapon? Hmm. <clears throat> no. Um. Maybe. I, I will think about it. I do like the idea of being able to do the the poi dancer, but we can we can I will think about that as a later thing. Okay, uh, do we need? Or we need other? Oh, now to open other gear. What's in a burglar's pack? A thousand ball bearings, ten foot of string, a bell, five candles, a crowbar, a hammer. Pittons, hooded lantern, oh my goodness. Okay, I don't think I need that. Entertainer's pack. Bladed hula hoop. No. <laughs> no, I'm not being that girl. <laughs> that was a uh, soul caliber. No. <laughs> Only if it can be soul caliber. <clears throat> yeah. Backpack, but roll two costumes, five candles, five days of rations, a water skin, and a disguise kit. Yeah, I mean, two costumes, you mean two cosplays? Because that's what I hear. A water skin and a disguise kit. Uh, yeah, we'll take one of those. <laughs> Do need some materials, we just didn't need all of our materials. Fucking hell, was it a Hexmancer? Sorry, I muted myself to cough and then I didn't click it properly. How is that? 40 gold. I call shenanigans. Hold on. Backpack, bedroll, two costumes, five candles, five days of rations, water skin, and a disguise kit. Why are you so expensive? 
uh, Garvex and I played a lot of Soul Calibur. We've got, what, five for the PlayStation 4? <laughs> Two gold for the backpack. Bedroll, one gold, six, that's right. Customs are five gold each? Fucking hell. I forgot how to write. 5 GP each. Nightmare. Yeah, oh, I hate Vardo. He's a pin in my arse. It's just wacky for the sake of being wacky. Um, what else did it say to that? Uh, customs, candles. I don't care about candles. Rations, water skin. Point two. Water skin is point two. And then rations. So they had five rations. Hey, I numbered. So that's 2, 3, 10, 13, 15.5, 15.7. Without giving a fuck about the candles. How expensive is the disguise kit? Ah, there we go. To change your physical appearance. Okay, Garfax. Can I have like a makeup kit? I don't get proficiency bonus to anything. I'm not trying to make checks and I don't create a disguise. No mechanical effect. Oh, there's a lot of soul caliber chat. Are my favorite is um, oh, I don't remember what her, the, what her name is. She dual wields those two little, like, they're almost like police batons. Talon, yes, I like her. She's quick. She's a fucking blur of activity, and I love it. For ten gold. Tanfaz, yes, that's the word. Okay, <clears throat> I think we'll definitely be doing it that way. Okay, so let's go back to the list. Back, pack, add item, add roll, add item, just one. We don't, we're going to skip the candles, we can see in the dark, it's fine. come back see how the money's going water skin nope just one uh, rations one two three four five bam and I'll have to make a custom thing Yes. No. That's alright. We'll take care of that later. Just make sure I got ten gold left over. 
Okay. <clears throat> Alright, Garfax, did you catch up with all that? <laughs> I guess no. That's okay. I got two backpacks. I don't need two. Fuck off. Forty-ish. Forty-ish. Highly precise. Two, three, ten, twelve, thirteen, fifteen point five, fifteen point seven. And the backpack stuff. Uh, the dagger is two. Seventeen point seven. Uh, darts are point five. Times 10 is 1, so 2 gold for all of those. 19.7. And I think that's all the things we got. Extra 10 for our makeup kit that we'll have to add later. It's okay. It's 29.7. 40 ish. 40 ish. Don't you uh, tell me they're gonna keep track. That was me level maths right there. Son. Oh, assume we missed one. Okay. <clears throat> no, I already, no, I already did that thing. Um, I think I'm gonna get a couple more costumes, or maybe just one. Where am I at? Twenty-nine point seven. Three outfits. Well, four outfits total. We'll be wearing one. <clears throat> Speaking of, I should have actual base clothes, I suppose. Clothes. Costume. Do I get... I should get a starting clothes, right? That's what I thought. And by common clothes, I mean kitty pajamas. Naturally. <laughs> uh, Nicky. No. My, my rabbit focus always, is always Nicky. He's a rabbit. There's nothing more intimidating than a naked rabbit waving an axe at you. Okay. <clears throat> I think that's good for all our possessions. 45 pounds of stuff. That's half my body weight. Fucking hell. <laughs> it's all clothes. <laughs> <laughs> Like I'm carrying almost half my body weight and fucking <laughs> fucking cosplay outfits. <laughs> Everyone who's done cosplay is just like, yeah, it's fair. <laughs> uh, darts are heavy, two and a half pounds. Fucking hell. How is a dart two and a half pounds? <clears throat> What am I throwing? Are they lawn darts? Oh, for ten. All right, that makes sense, I guess. 
Excuse me. Drink some water. Lubricate my throat. So wait, if this is for all 10, is it only a 0.5 gold for all 10? Oh. Because I calculated 2 gold for all of them total. It should only be 1. So 38.7. Doesn't really save me a whole ton, but that's fine. That's what, I, yeah, that's what, that's what I thought. I'm like, that's that's a fucking sword. How big is this goddamn dart? <laughs> like throwing, I, I'm gonna throw a dart at you. That's a long sword. Put that down. Yeet. All right. <clears throat> Alright, I think I am done with my equipment. Here we be. <clears throat> Mighty Dungeon Master, gaze upon me and judge me. Plus eight for performance. Fuck yeah. <clears throat> I did. And I I I would like to stop and recognize the sheer unholy dice luck that I conjured from the eater for this. I'm not gonna say who I sold my soul to. It was Jeff Bezos. It's true. <laughs> Two weapon fighting. Multiple darts. Oh, damn what? So perception is a 12. Yeah, not paying great attention. After I choose my feet, I can level up. Yeah! I'm approved. Everybody, I'm approved. <clears throat> okay. I get a fresh sheet of scrap paper here. I'll write down my potential choices. Alert, definitely not. <laughs> like I say, I, I was confused. It does say I have one of your, but I see more than one of you talking. <laughs> Although it does, it's very bad at showing at least quantity of lurkers. That's the only thing I would want to fix about uh, Twitch in this regard. Like, I don't mind people lurking, and hello lurkers if you're out there. But I don't need. I don't feel the need to see their names. Like if you're just hanging out, I don't need to see your names. That's that's fine. I'm not gonna. I don't want to call you out or anything like that. <clears throat> but I wish you would show me. Here's the names of everyone that have been talking recently, and here's total number of people in the in involved. These are this is your quantity of lurkers. Or people who haven't talked in a while and have kind of gone lurky. Just, just the number to give me a, a, a sense of scare of how everything's going. That's all. Uh, oh well. What can you do? All right. Uh, Artificer initiate? No. Athlete? Mm, no, nah, not really. Bunt for luck? Maybe. Or no, that's not that's not lucky. That's halfling luck. I don't need that. I can't get that. Uh, chef, crossbow expert, crusher, defensive duelist, dragon fear, dragon hide, drow high magic. Drink. Mm. 
Um, Buster. Yes, 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 yes. <coughs> Draw a magic to a wielder dungeon deliver durable order for to a hunter jab dept. Maybe, maybe, maybe hunter jab dept. There's some good invocations that could just be casually helpful. Eldritch. Adept. Write that down. Elemental Adept. No. Elephant Accuracy. No. Not an elf. No, I want to back. See, never mind. <laughs> uh, fade Away. Fade Teleportation. Fade Touched. Fighting Initiate. Firearm Specialist. Alara Fighting Style. Mm. Ah. Mm. Oh, that's a gnome. Oh, no, I don't get that. Mm. <laughs> Give her a cat, fighter room specialist. <laughs> uh, Misty Step is useful, but I'm not. I'm not feeling it. Fine, he can have Vorpal and I've got a fucking AT uh, weapon. Fine, Strahd can have Vorpal, but it's Russian made. It ran out of fuel halfway to the field. <laughs> it's just stuck in the mud. Some farmer towed it away with his donkey. <laughs> His Vorpal sword being sold for scrap in a fucking farmer's market somewhere. Great <laughs> uh, weapon master. Nah. Grappler. No. Manifest wings. I've never heard of Infernal Constitution, Inspiring Lair, Keen Mind. Nah. Lucky. I do I do like Lucky. That seems fitting though. Um, Magic Initiate, Martial Adept. Magic Initiate's never bad. Just a wee little touch of magic. Maybe magic initiate. We'll see. Magic initiate. Writing is hard. Ah, mobile? Maybe. <clears throat> I do like mobile. Increase by 10 foot. I am a speedy kitty cat. Dash action. When you make a melee attack against a creature, you don't provoke opportunity attacks from that creature for this return, whether you hit or not. Oh. Just walk up, claw someone in the face, and leave. Just, eh, fuck you. <laughs> Maybe. Now that I say it out loud, out loud like that. Maybe. Piercer, no. Is dagger piercing or slashing? Piercing. Uh -huh. Maybe piercer then. You have achieved penetrating precision in combat, granting you the following benefits. Increase your strength or dex by one to a maximum of 20. Oh no, more dex. Uh, once per turn, when you hit a creature with an attack that deals piercing damage, you can reroll one of the attack's damage dice, and you must use the new roll. When you score a critical hit that deals piercing damage to a creature, you can roll one additional damage die while determining the extra piercing damage the target takes. Ooh. Ooh. That's true. Darts are also piercing. Ooh. Piercer. Uh, we're almost out of time for the evening, but I want to get this done. <clears throat> hmm. Shit, son. 
Alright, I think I'll scrap magic initiate, because as much as I want some magic, I got other things to do and only so many feats to grab. Eldritch Adept. Uh, this one lets you cast mage armor, and that would be really handy, because I'm not going to have good on uh, AC, but. I think we're going to go with Piercer. More decks, reroll damage. Yeah. Alright. Uh, features and traits. Feats. Manage my feats. And P for Piercer. Yeah. Okay. There we go. And now we're back to the builder to level up. Go and do all trade ones. Roguish archetype. Now, this is a big one. Arcane trickster, assassin, inquisitive, mastermind, phantom, scout, soul knife, swashbuckler, thief. Swashbuckler would work really good with our high decks and our dancing. But you know what? I had a thought in my mind when I first got inspired by this. Wacky notion. I'm gonna go assassin. She just, she's cute. She's adorable, and she straight up fucking shanks a bitch. I like it. Just brutal, brutal murder. In kitty ears. <clears throat> I, I vibe it. I like it. I like it. Yeah, scout's a thing. Everyone always forgets about poor scout. So do I, though. <laughs> uh, quick thing and agility allows you to move that quickly. You can take the bonus action on each of your turns in combat. Action could be used to take the dash, disengage, or hide action. I get bonus proficiencies at third level. Which is guys get in partner's kit. That's fine. And assassinate. Starting at dirt level, you are your deadliest when you get your drop on your enemies. You have advantage on attack rolls against any creature that hasn't taken a turn in the combat yet. In addition, any hit you score against a creature that is surprised is a critical hit. Shunk. Which, uh, I believe I get an extra die from Piercer because of, uh, critical hits. So, and that should count as, a uh, sneak attack too. That would be 1d6 plus 1d6 plus something. Something insane. I'll just sit and figure it all out. Uh, do not get an ability score yet. We do need to do hit points. Now you're just like Cassandra from Assassin's Creed Odyssey, but with cat hairs. Kinda. But without that sense that she could bench press and murder me. Steady aim as a bonus action. You can give yourself a defense on your next attack roll on a current turn. You can use this bonus action if only if you have it moved in the current turn. And after you use the bonus action, your speed is zero until the end of the current turn. Okay. I mean, sure. Fuck it. Yeah, we'll do that. Uh, manage your points. Assassin's Creed is really good, but it it goes on too long, is the general problem. Uh, my favorite was Black Flag, but I also really enjoyed um, <clears throat> um, uh, Origins, the Egyptian one. I like being, uh, was, uh, what do they call them, Medjay. I like the med jack. He was cool. That's a tree on the die. And then a seven. Nice. Ten. So, twelve plus. Should just be twenty-two, right? Yeah. Mm. 
no, 10 plus 8 is 18, plus constitution. And 8 plus 10? What? I do not like this system of doing hit points. It's the only thing I really don't like on D&D Beyond. Eat for level one tree for level two is an all tree. Yeah. World HP ten. My constitution's a tree, right? Yeah. Oh yeah, twenty four. Should be right. Plus six. Okay, I did sort of do it right. Ha <laughs> All right, boop. Nothing changed there. And swiggity swooty, I exist. Ha <laughs> ha! Beautiful. And there's some D D character creation. I hope everyone enjoyed that. That look into my process of how I come up with a character idea. Uh, if this proves exceptionally popular later on, I'll be willing to do some more. Yeah, the, the HP system's not great. Um, but yeah, that was fun. I enjoyed that. I just realized I put my headphones on out of habit, but I don't really need them. Because there's no sound. Other than me, of course. <laughs> Oops. But yeah, maybe it's a, <clears throat> if people really like this or people really want, I can sit down and do a, a very, very basic 101 character creation for people that want to learn a little bit more. <clears throat> Excuse me. Yes, the Wii one was quite hilarious. I enjoyed. I mean, I always enjoy having her around. Um, yeah. I say, um, yeah, a lot, don't I? That's fair. I do do that. Oh, cracking back. Yeah, we'll see how this we'll see how this video does later on. Everyone here obviously seemed to enjoy it, and that's good. <clears throat> um, and yeah, if if the crowd demands it, we will do this again sometime. Uh, possibly we will help dragon on Thursday with hers if she wants to or her and I will do it privately we shall see what she likes oh I missed a thing Assassin's Creed I really wish I did more of the Japanese setting Assassin's Creed Japan would be pretty cool I would I would dig that I wish Assassin's Creed or those type of games would hit a lot more places Egypt was pretty cool though that was a good departure Greece was a nice big map. I, I liked the Greece map. I wasn't super gung-ho about the plot, necessarily. Assassin's Creed just needs to get rid of all the future alien technology stuff. No one cares. Just let us run around and like a crazy person in history. Come on. Uh, Alright, I'm meandering and it's time to wrap up. Uh, yeah, so yes, we'll see how the video does uh, later on in ongoing. You can help me make my backup on stream if you like on free content. Sure. Or what we could do potentially is, you know, give me the gist and I, I'll make it without too much input. And you can see what you like about it and, you know, my interpretation of you kind of thing. That could be cooler. Or just something else. Yeah. We can come up with some ideas. Lots of ideas. Does does fill up the, the, the time very readily, though. That's good. Yes. So, yes. Wrap it up. Wrap it up. Wrap it up. I do. Wrap it up. I shall. Make a character for me based on what you know. Ooh. 
I could do that. Start making all of me friends and family as D&D characters. Maybe. That could be fun. Okay. We will discuss this more in the future. Oh, it's already a popular idea. There you go. Okay. Outro. Time to wrap it up. <sighs> Thank you to all of you, no matter when or where you are in this big world. I appreciate each and every one of you. I love you all. Please keep yourselves safe and happy and healthy, and I will talk to you all again soon. Mwah! Cheers. Slava Ukraini. Absolutely.